Okay. <laughs> um, anyone else? I mean, you know, there were a few people back here with a website. Go ahead. Well, you can also do it uh, if you want to put your resume out there, but you don't want to go with one of those the social other, network. <laughs> the social network or with a um, like monster or anything. You just want to put your mm -hmm. own business up there, plus your, you know, the resume. Exactly. You know, the web makes it easier for people to start up their own business and get business. Okay? Starting a business is easy, especially if you want to if you don't want to be incorporated, you know, co incorporating is a big hassle. I tried that once and I said I will never do that again. There's so much hassle and you have to pay the franchise tax you know, regardless of how, of how much money you make and stuff like that. But if you just want to become a sole proprietor because you think, oh, I'm really good at this, I can charge money for you know doing that. It can be anything from flower arrangement, okay, to technical services. Okay, I can come fix your computer, I can back up your computer, you know, and stuff like that. So if you think that you're good enough, and you know people would actually pay you for to for, for you to do you know certain things, okay, you know, especially with computers, you know, in the context of this class. The web is an easy way to get the word out, okay? It's not just saying that, yes, I can do all these things, but you can actually describe in details of what you can do, you know, um, testimony from your customers, testimonials from your customers, and so on and so forth. Um, and if you know how to do web programming, you can make your own website interactive. Now that is interesting, because what happens is your clients, okay, registered clients of your own, can now log in to your website. Okay, this is not somebody else's website, this is your website. They can log in and say, oh, guess what, you know, my computer is acting up today. Um, I would like you to, to take a look as soon as possible. And, you know, I'm ready to pay, you know, let's say you have a three-tier payment system, okay? If people pay for the lowest tier, that means you know, when you have time, you will go visit their, what, their site and fix their problems. The you know, second tier means, you know, well, maybe I will drop one of the you know, current jobs you know, to you know, get the emergency handled. And the top tier may mean I'll, I'll drop everything. You know, it may be midnight, you know, 2 a.m., but if you pay me this much per hour, I will come fix your problem right away. Okay. So your, your, now your client, they don't have to call you, they can log in to your website, and you know, once they log in, they self-authenticate who they are, and you automatically know their home address or office address, so they don't even have to tell you how to get there, and you don't need a separate you know, you know, address book to remember where they are. So they can just say, I'm located here, I'm in my office right now, this is the problem, and I'm willing to pay you know, the second tier amount uh, to get this problem fixed, okay? And you, in, in order to respond to your client, you can use you know, a, an Android phone, you know, so you can do it anytime, anywhere with 3G or even 2G access. And you don't have to call the client. You can just you know, reply right away and just say that, you know, well, I'm on a level three job right now, but I you know, expect that this will be done within two hours, and then you know, maybe we can, I can come take a look. Or if the problem is easy enough to fix, you can just try to indicate Try this method, you know, yourself, and see if you can get it fixed. Because right now I'm really busy; I cannot get to you, but I want you to fix the problem and see if you can fix it by yourself too. You see how it's helping, you know, if you have your own website, you know, as a hub for you to get connected with your customers. Yes. But if the computer uh, problem is not bad enough, you could just log on uh, wirelessly, correct? If you were at your own home computer, right. and you were trying to help somebody else, you could access their. Computer. Yes, yeah, so you can remote control the other computer if that computer is still uh, remote controllable. So it yeah. depends on the severity of the of the problem. Okay. So having your own website, you know, can be helpful because you're not just you know, putting up you know some static page of describing your business, but if you can do some web programming, and we have web programming classes here. If you're interested in how to make a website interactive hook up to a database and be able to do far more than just displaying pretty pages. You can do that, okay? And that makes it very, very dynamic because you know, the limit is really just up to you and up to you know, the, the programming talent of whoever is running that program. But it does make it, you know, make it easier for businesses to conduct you know, business and better connect to the clients. Okay, are there any questions?
And that last part does not only relate to custom uh, to computer related services. Um, someone pointed out to me um, restaurants. Okay, Re people photographers who specialize in restaurant you know, food photography. You know, the web helps out a lot. Um, even gardeners, you know, can also benefit from the web. I mean, you would think that you know, gardeners, you know, how can these people benefit from a website? Go ahead. They could see what's in season or growing, or they could uh, find places that have uh, seeds or supplies they want. And there are also emergencies too. You know, you know with gardening surfaces, there are also emergencies, um, you know, like you know, uh, broken hose or you know, sprinklers and whatnot. You know. So your clients can just log into the website, you know, log the problem. Okay, you know, I got a you know, broken sprinkler, you know, and I would like to have it fixed you know, as soon as possible. And you know, when you have you know the gardens you know out there you know on the trucks, if you can just tell, oh, since this guy is already in a neighborhood, you know, doing a regular um, job, and this place is just you know two streets next to it, you can send that guy over without having you know the whole truck to be you're driven all the way back to headquarters and then you drive it all the way out again. So with computers, I think you know, almost every, every business can be helped. And I think a website is the, is the easy way for customers or potential customers to get connected to a business. I, yep. I, I, was, I, was, I was just thinking about, I, I've seen some food photography and the food does not look appetizing, you know. You can dress <laughs> it up or something, that could, you know, that would help. You know, yep. Yeah, but that does not have a whole lot to do with the web. You know, the web part of you know food business or restaurant business is once you have good photography, then you know you, instead of going to a restaurant just to check out, you know, what do they have, some people can just you know go online and look at the pictures. Now, if the pictures are really nice and you know, representative of the food, then people can say, oh, I really want to try that, you know, because you know that's something I really I really want. Or they can, you know, so people can decide whether to go to a restaurant before they know ahead of time, you know, what kind of food will be served because the menu is online. I remember going to the Sizzler and they even have a photo of some other specialty plates. Mm -hmm. But when you order, it's not exactly the amount that you expect. It's less than what the picture represents. You know, so the picture's so supposed to look pretty. Exactly. You know, so well, that's true with almost any type of, uh, you know, advertisement. Yeah. Yep. All right, so I'll see you guys on Thursday. And don't forget to...